Now I'm here to talk about my box joint jig that I made for my table saw sled. I should have made this the first day I made this sled because it was pathetically easy. Most box joint jigs, strictly for the table saw that don't attach to anything else, have a base, runner, uh, a back face to hold the front face steady that registers the board to this pin. And uh, I should have done this a long time ago. It's simply made of one of these I, f I got at Rockler. This is a quarter inch. It could fit in a T-slot and a, 20, a quarter inch machine screw. And I have one in the slot here. It does bind a tiny bit and if in pairs it binds even more. So what I found myself doing was I put two of these in the slot and then I screwed the plywood straight to the T, T, the T piece inside the T slot instead of sliding it all in one place because it binded so much. But I'll, I'll find a way to make it work or I'll wax it or I'll, I'll find something that'll make it work. Um, I, I registered it, registered the reference pin from the dado set using brass setup bars, quarter inch, quarter inch to quarter inch. Uh, I did use a uh, half inch plywood to test box joints and I do recommend if you're going to uh, make box joints on something like this using narrow stock, please clamp it to the, to the back face to steady it. Narrow stock, even if it's going through the blade, does wobble a tiny bit and it's going to me mess up your cut. So I s clamped everything down and when it was all said and done, this is the end result. Half inch plywood using quarter inch, quarter inch finger joints. Yeah, this could squeeze a little together if I clamp it, glue it and clamp it, it'll, it'll look just fine. As you can see, right here, that, that it protrudes a little bit. That's fine, it's better to sand back than come up short and have to put it in the jig and recut them and possibly make this gap even wider, which defeats the purpose of a box joint. So I could sand, glue this together, sand these flush, and I'll be ready to go. Um, if you have any questions about how I made this or, or about anything else, uh, let me know. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.